Unless you talking numbers, we ain't speaking about the right things. Switch up on my before I figure that's not like me. It's so cold out there. I wonder what we're gonna make today. Cause it's freezing. It's so cold. We gotta make something for us to eat. So warm us up. Woo. What's up guys? Welcome back to Solorio Eats. So we're gonna be getting into Solorio Eats on a different day and a different time now. So every Tuesday at 6 p.m. But thank you guys for watching again this week. So it is getting really cold out there. I know it's only fall, but it is 28 degrees out there right now, Fahrenheit. So we're gonna be making something to really warm us up today. We're gonna be making tomato soup. And not just any tomato soup, we are gonna be making it with a twist, but you can't have tomato soup unless you have grilled cheese, right? So I'll be showing you guys how to make this tomato soup from scratch and some delicious grilled cheese to go with it. A three cheese grilled cheese that's super stretchy and very delicious. But once again, thank you for watching. So we're just gonna get into it. So thank you to Mint Trends for sending these aprons to me, the black one, and obviously this awesome denim one. These things are super stylish, comfortable, and very durable. Just one click, and these things are staying on for good. You wanna get your own? I'll have a description below, and you guys can scoop up one of these Mint Trend aprons. So let's get into making this very tasty tomato soup. So we're gonna start by coring out all of our tomatoes. We're gonna be using Roma tomatoes, or you may know them also as plum tomatoes. So we're just gonna take our petty knife and we're gonna go around in a circular motion. And we're gonna take out the core. Now that we have all of our tomatoes quartered out, now it's time for us to quarter them. So we're gonna take them all and quarter all of our tomatoes. You know, a plum tomato for me is the best tomato when it comes to flavor you know those bigger tomatoes the ones that look like soccer balls or basketballs the bigger ones those things don't have a lot of flavor yes they look beautiful but they don't have as much tomato flavor as our plum or roma tomatoes whatever you want to call them these things have that tomato flavor we need so we're going to quarter all of our tomatoes once we have them all quartered then we're going to hit these things with some olive oil we're gonna be roasting them off in an oven at 425 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're gonna hit it with our olive oil. And then we're also gonna hit it with that kosher salt. Not your granny salt, kosher salt. And also gonna hit it with that BP black pepper. We wanna make sure that all this is uh, incorporated. So we're just gonna take our one spoon. We're just gonna spread everything out. Make sure all that olive oil, you know, that salt and that pepper, you know, we wanna make sure all of it coats our tomatoes. We wanna make sure we spread it out evenly. Once we get it all spread out evenly, we're going to hit it with some fresh thyme. You know, that's what's going to really make the difference with our tomato soup. We want to get that herb note, that herbaceous note, you know, when we're taking a, a spoonful of the soup later, that's what's going to make the big difference. So toss a little bit of that thyme in there, and we're going to throw this into the oven. So while the tomatoes are rocking in the oven and get nice and caramelized and golden brown and delicious, we're gonna start knocking out everything else that's gonna go into our soup. So we're gonna take our yellow onions and we're gonna peel them. We're gonna cut them in half and julienne them. This is gonna add a little bit more body to our soup. It's not gonna be just straight tomato flavor. You know, we want this thing to be rich. And we wanna pack this thing with as much flavor as we can. Once we get our onions julienne, we're also gonna take a shallot. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna peel it, cut it in half, and we're gonna julienne it. Now that we have both of them uh, cut up and julienned and ready to go, we're gonna take them um, and we're gonna put them into our pot. We're gonna add a little bit of canola oil. That way it doesn't burn. You know, we want a high smoke oil. We're gonna throw our shallots and our onions in there. And we're also gonna season them. You gotta make sure to season every step of the way. You know, we don't want this thing to lack in flavor. Now we're gonna let these things rock. We're gonna caramelize. We want these things golden brown. So we're gonna take it and we're gonna let it go at a medium to high heat. Just make sure to keep an eye on it. You don't want these things to burn. We just want them nice and golden brown. Once we have our onions and our shallots nice and golden brown, you know, they've been going at a medium to high heat. Now it's time to add two teaspoons of garlic. You know, this is gonna make it a lot more fragrant. 
And that's what we want. We want to keep adding and adding as much flavor to this thing as possible. Now that we've hit it with that garlic, now it's time to hit it with that secret ingredient. This thing is going to make this thing smoky. I'm talking about smoked ham hocks, right? This is going to give us that porky flavor, that smoky aroma flavor. This thing is going to take the soup to the next level. So next time you're making tomato soup, we're going to be adding this to ours. Make sure to add it to yours. So our plum tomatoes are roasted. Now it's time to add them to our pot along with everything else. Just make sure that you take out the time stems out of there. We're going to throw everything else into our pot. So to this thing, we're going to add one can of tomato sauce. You know, it's going to make it tangy and we're going to stir everything up. And to that, we're also going to add one whole quart of heavy cream. You know, we want this thing to be luscious and creamy. The heavy cream is going to help with that. So we're just going to take everything that's already in our pot and we're just going to put it on a low simmer. And we're just going to let this thing rock for about an hour to an hour and a half. You know, we want all these flavors to really marry together. You know, we want that hammy, porky, smoked ham hock to really infuse into the tomato. So the longer this thing simmers, all these flavors are really going to become intense. And they're really going to come out. And that's really what we're looking for. The longer this sits, the better. All you got to do is blend it up now. Wow, look at how creamy and luscious. And look at that color on that tomato soup. Man. All right, now we got to talk about grilled cheese. You know, that goes hand in hand with our tomato soup. So we got to pick the right cheeses for our grilled cheese. We're going to be using three cheeses. We're going to go with American cheese. You know, this cheese really is very melty. It's that classic grilled cheese cheese. And then we're going to hit it with that Havarti cheese. Havarti cheese is very luscious and creamy. Then we're going to hit it with that sharp shredded cheddar. You know, it's going to really balance all of our creaminess from American cheese and our Havarti. So let's start building our sandwich. We're going to go with sliced brioche. And we're going to start laying all of our cheeses. Unless you talking numbers, we ain't speaking about the right things. Switch up on my before a figure, that's not like me. Batty with a body in the lobby, she like nice things. She used to know me then, she like me now, that's funny timing. So now we're gonna add something that you're gonna say, man, you are being so crazy and wild. Now listen to me. This is something I learned from another cook, cook in the kitchen. And I thought it was just as crazy as you think. But we're going to put mayo, mayonnaise, on the outside of our sandwich. When we go to grill this thing, this mayonnaise is going to intensify the sandwich. It's going to make it very creamy on the outside along with the butter. And it's going to add a little bit of tang to our sandwich. So we're going to add one knob of unsalted butter to our cast iron pan. And we're going to let our grilled cheese get nice and golden brown and delicious. So we're going to let one side go, nice and golden brown. We're going to flip it over and finish it off. So it's GBD, golden brown, and delicious. Unless you talking numbers, we ain't speaking about the right things. Switch up on my before a figure, that's not like me. Batty with a body in the lobby, she like nice things. She used to know me then, she like me now, that's funny timing. Thank you for watching. Until next time, love you guys. Make sure to subscribe, like, and drop a comment.